I want like I'm gonna k- kick that thing off your head starting to spew like real threats that were very specific to like Islamophobia. Shafira Vidya Maharani was waiting for her bus on Main Street and 49th Avenue in Vancouver on Friday when she says a man approached her with aggressive questions about her identity. And he aggressively like kept asking me like where are you from like what is that thing on your head and I didn't want to engage at all so I just kept quiet and I was distancing myself away from him and I could tell that he was really upset by it. Um, I could hear him like call me like a and asking and just like complaining and you know wanting me to go back to my own country. I didn't really feel too like too threatened by that just because I was like that's not the first time I heard all this. Vidya Maharani captured the end of the interaction on video. I'll kick that rain out of your hand. Get out of my face. I don't know, I guess the upsetting part was that like nobody was really there to intervene. A couple of people did check on me, but um, at that point that had been done and I was already threatened and shaken. Ahmed Khan, a researcher with Reclaim, says Muslim women in particular face harassment that men do not. So there's many different levels to Islamophobia that Muslim women in particular face. Personally, I don't like speaking on behalf of Muslim women and the discrimination they face, but from the testimonies that they've informed me of, it's it's quite difficult. For some sisters who openly wear the hijab, it happens several times. Between 2010 and 2018, Statistics Canada data shows that of all victims of violent crimes targeting the Muslim population that were reported to police, 45% were women or girls. That relatively high proportion of female victims was attributed in part to the practice of wearing head coverings, which may make religious identity more visible for Muslim women than for men. It doesn't necessarily have to come through violence. It can come through racial slurs. It can come through awkward looks. It can come from not providing them service and uh, discriminating against them. Vidya Maharani's wish is that bystanders would be more cognizant of the victims in situations like hers. I guess like the message I want to get across is just like, you know, to just be um, present in witnessing what happened. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.